Hello everyone, this is Minister LT, and it's always a blessing and honor to, to share another message from my Heavenly Father God. And today, we're going to be talking about what we talked about yesterday. I know a friend named Jesus, and today this is part two. Yesterday was part one, today is part two. And today, my fellow listeners out there today, I'm not only going to minister to y'all today, but we're going to have church today. And I hope y'all read and excited for this word. I hope y'all read and excited for this church ministry and sermon today because somebody's going to be moving today. I don't know who it is, but I believe and declare it right now. Somebody's going to be moving today. And I'm just going to go back to this, um, to the scripture that we started from yesterday. That's Proverbs 18, verse 24. And if you have your Bibles open, ready to receive it. Shout out, amen. Amen. Let's begin. A man of many companions may come to ruin, but there, there is a friend who sticks closer than a brother. And that friend is Jesus. You have a friend, and his name is Jesus. See, I'm, some of y'all need to know they're real true friend. Some of y'all need to know that's a friend going to be with you no matter what you're going through in life. He's going to never leave you, and he's going to never forsake you. You got to know that you got that true friend who always got your back no matter what you're going through in life. Whatever he started you in, he got your back. Because he didn't want to put you in that position in the first place. That's why he always going to have your back. If you ain't got nobody else rooting for you, you always going to have Jesus rooting for you. He's going to be on the sideline. He's going to be in the front crowd. He's going to be in the back crowd. and He's going to be in the side crowd. He's going to be all over the crowd. But you got to know that you got a friend named Jesus that's right there for you. Now, I'm going to ask you a question. When your marriage in trouble, are your friends there? No. When your finance in trouble, are your friends there? No. When you need a bill to be paid, are your friends and family members there? No. When you need a, a, a shoulder to cry on or somebody to tell a secret to, are your friends and loved ones there? No. Or you're going through a, a hard time in life and you're trying to get from A to B and you're trying to get a ride to work, where your friends at? Where your brothers at? But I tell you, one person going to be all there for you. His name is Jesus. When your marriage in trouble, all you do is give it to Jesus. He got your back. When your finance in trouble, just give it to him. He'll provide a way. When when you need a shoulder crown, when he want, want to be there for you, yeah, so you have a friend named Jesus that's always going to be there for you. But you got to start believing that. You got to start knowing that right now. And I'm just going to talk to the people right now who don't take that leap of faith. And I know there's a lot of people out there right now have actually took that leap of faith. When you took that leap of faith and you trusting in Jesus, that whatever it is that you trusting in him for, that he's going to provide. And by you took that leap of faith, some of y'all don't came a long way. From where you started from the beginning. Now let's look back from where you started at and look where you're at right now. Is it still lingering? If you're saying yes, okay, look at it. Who got your back? Jesus got your back. You know why he got your back? Because he ain't gonna let you fail. He didn't let you get from A all the way to all the way to all the way to R and let you fail. He didn't let you get from one all the way to 50 and you're trying to get to 100 that you fail. You got to know Jesus. Jesus got your back. He going to make sure that you're going to prevail. Your blessing might have came, came yet. Your overflow might have came yet. Your door that you expect might have come yet. But sooner or later your, over, your overflow going to come. Your more than enough going to come. Your door is going to open. Everything is going to happen unexpected to God because he want to make sure that you going to win. That's why you got a friend named Jesus. He got your back. He got your back for whatever that you're going through in life. I don't care what it is. He got your back. When your friends turn your back against him, Jesus will never turn your back against you. When you need a, 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 a loan and your bank won't give you the loan, your family members will get you the loan, Jesus is going to get you the loan. Hallelujah. That's why you need a praise. That's why you got a friend named Jesus. No matter what, I just look how far on came. No matter what, how my overflow on came. No matter what, how my ministry did or came yet. No matter what, my overflow on came yet. But long as God still got me in the game, long as Jesus still gave me a chance and opportunity each and every each and every day to minister y'all, he's got my back because he's gonna make sure that we come out on top. That's what I mean by that. He got your back. That's why this last verse in this text it really sticks out. He said, But there is a friend. Who stick closer than a brother? Who think that friend is, y'all? That friend is Jesus. 
That friend is Jesus. He's your friend. He's my friend. He's all y'all friends. But you got to know who your real friend is. No matter what you're going through. So one who took that leap of faith, you got a real friend. He said right there, he's closer than your own brothers. He's closer than your own family members. He's closer than anybody that you know. He want to make sure that you're going to come on top. Because why? He started you something. He's going to finish it. If he starts it, he's going to make sure that he complete everything that he started. Now, who I'm talking to today? That's why it was so important to do part two. Uh, this right here, uh, this message. I know a friend in his name of Jesus. I know a friend who gonna make sure that he's gonna provide. I know a friend who's gonna make sure that that door gonna open. I know a friend who's gonna make sure that the overflow will come. My ministry gonna come. And whatever it is that you believe in, and whatever it is that your desire is, he gonna make sure that it come to pass. I know a friend. Guess his name is? J-E-S-U-S. His name is Jesus. That's who his name. And that's who my friend is. That's who I rely on. That's who I believe in. That's who I have faith in. That's how I know he took me from punk. Hey, now he gave me this point right here and he still let me go on each and every day to minister to y'all each and every day. So by him doing that, guess what? I got a friend. He got my back. He gonna make sure his work gonna get done. He gonna make sure that he come out on top. He gonna make sure that the, with the devil, what everybody else ran away. He got to say, guess what, y'all? LT, I got your back. That's what he's telling y'all right now. I got your back. Your mom probably don't run away from you. Your brother probably don't run away from you. Your cousins, your aunties, your uncles, your friends, whoever, they probably ran away. But guess what? We ain't never ran away from you, y'all. Jesus, guess who got you back to the beginning all the way to the end? Jesus, guess who's going to make sure that he's going to fulfill what he started? Guess what he's going to do? Whatever he promised you in your life, he's going to bring the past. That's why he got you back. That's why he's still sticking with you right now. You don't even know how look how far you don't came. That's why he's still sticking with you. Because he's going to make sure that he's going to prevail. He's going to make sure that he's going to win. He's going to make sure that he's going to be on top. He's going to make sure that he get the praise, the glory, the honor, and all the worthy. That's what I mean by that. You got a friend in his name of Jesus. Come on now. That's why I said we having some church today. I ain't even ministering to you that we having some church today. You have a friend and his name is Jesus. But you got to know who your friend is. He's sticking close to you each and every day. Even though you might think, man, I don't know how this is going to come out. No matter, don't worry about that. As long as you, long as you remain in him and he remain in you, you're going to win because you got a friend named Jesus who got your back, who's sticking closer to you each and every day. Because each and every day that he gave me an opportunity to minister y'all, I'm sticking close to him and he's sticking close to me. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. That's why I said I got a friend. That's why I got a friend. I know y'all got a friend too, but you got to know it and you got to claim who your friend is. My friend's name is Jesus. He's my everything. He's my healer. He's my provider. He's going to make sure that his ministry that he provided me with is going to come up top. He's going to make sure that it will prevail right now in the mighty name of Jesus, and it's going to happen. And he's telling y'all the same thing right now. I don't know who I'm talking to today, but he's telling you the same thing right now. You have a friend named Jesus, and you got to know who your real friend is. Because he's still, clo he still closer to you than anybody. Nobody going to stick closer to him. He's going to stick closer to you. Just like honey. Honey never separate. It's like super glue. That's how close he is to you. That's how close y'all are. Y'all are related. <laughs> now, if you receive this word and message today, shout out amen. But you got to know. You have a friend named Jesus. This is Minister LT, and I never like to leave my short broadcast without leaving with a prayer. Can you please pray with me? Lord Jesus, I ask of you to come into my life, to take over, to guide me, to rape me, use me, mold me, so I can build a relationship with you. And I believe right now in the mighty name of Jesus, by y'all praying that simple little prayer, that God is already working everything out in your life right now. And if you ever want to get in contact with me, or leave me a comment. My YouTube channel is Withers. That's capital W I T H E R S dot L T. Or you can leave me a comment on my Instagram, Alatarius Withers. That's L A T A R I U S. Just remember, you have a friend named Jesus. It's Minister LT. I love y'all.